to take this lovely picture of a autumn leaf and we're going to turn the picture into black and white but keep the lovely colors for the leaf now we're going to take it over to photoshop where we'll do the the fun bits so as always we go to photo edit in photoshop give that a second to uh, come up okay here we are alrighty so we can do this one of several ways first we're going to see how easy it is just to use the ordinary old style tools in uh, Photoshop so we'll um, a quick selection here and it's not liking that so let's go with a bigger sample and now we're starting to get something So we're just doing lots and lots of sampling here. So we don't have everything we need. And now we've got too much. So what we're going to do is we're going to move into the uh, quick selection tool, which allows us to do this. We now get ourselves a brush and we make our brush bigger. And we paint over the areas aren't selected yet okay so we get it as close as we want there now we've done that as a quick selection so now we're going to add our black and white layer but that will give us a layer mask and because we've got a select selection active it gives us our selection. Now, can you see our picture's black? Our picture is a color, but our uh, image is in black and white. The leaf that is. So if we just invert that selection, we have our picture. So now we'll just zoom in and do a bit of tidying up. Hold down the space bar to move the screen, and as you look on here, there are still a few bits missing. So if we now paint in white. Make our paintbrush much, much smaller. We can paint out the few bits that accidentally got picked up. Can you see? Just nice and easy, does it? Not be too drastic. Uh, that all looks fine. Let's get rid of this. But this, this is where the beauty of layer masks presents itself. We can merrily edit this all we like. There's a piece that we missed. So if we just press the X key to swap our colors, we can paint that in. Anywhere else? Got a little bit going on there. A little bit there. Anything else we can see? That looks pretty good there i know we've missed a bit on the uh, stem so let's go and have a look at that let's paint that back in in color looks like a spider actually or a grasshopper or something let's just make sure we've got everything so let's just do a little bit of tidying up there just went a bit bad and we got a little bit on the edge here and let's just zoom back out command minus and hey presto you're done alrighty so that's one way of doing it so let's turn that off and let's do another way the, the um, select subject option so we've selected our quick uh, magic wand tool so if we click on select subject it does a pretty decent job it's just collected a little bit more of the foreground but we can now refine that so if we go into select and mask we get a new dialog box and if we choose the brush tool now normally the brush tool wants to paint more of this in but we want to paint out so if you hold down the option key it turns from a plus to a minus so we're able to now paint out this foreground area 
that we didn't want. Okay, so I'm using a massive brush just because it's a, a big area to start with. So now if we zoom in, which we can do up here. Let's try it this way then. Holding down the space bar always allows us to move. Now we make our paintbrush a lot smaller. Whoops, holding down the option key, remember, to add. I'm not going to do this to the same degree that I did the previous one because you've seen the effects. I'm just refining the selection. Okay. Let's call it that. And we then want to output the selection to a selection, which is fine. We click OK on that. Zoom back out. And now, again, if we add our black and white, we get the wrong way around. So we command I to invert it. And again, if you want to get in there and just make it a little bit prettier, we use our paintbrush. And why is it not our Pendant's paintbrush? And we just go back in and paint out these little bits that are just annoying us because it's a layer mask all we're doing is hiding or showing okay so zoom back out and hopefully you think that's a uh, pretty whizzy alrighty enjoy <laughs>